This? That's a Britannia proof set. You gotta look at it. That's a beautiful piece. Oh. During the pandemic, what did they do? They kept changing the closing time. And, you know, it was supposed to be 5 o'clock today. Well, today it's 2 o'clock. They may just close the doors. Yankee Stacking is sponsored by SDBullion.com. How you doing there, Mr. Yankee? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, I'm very, very well. Um, I've been watching your videos with Tim for, geez, a while now, and I think I've seen every single one of them. I've spent time going from one to another to another to another, and I, I watched you when you interviewed him, I guess, at his house, and um, I don't know, just... Uh, it just seems like uh, the both of you just seem like two really good people and trustworthy people. And in today's day and age, it's hard to find somebody that's trustable. Well, I appreciate that very much. We actually, Tim, passed the 100th video between the two of us. Wow. Wow, well, I didn't realize there were that many. I know. Anyway, um, I don't. I, I watched a guy from Texas not that long ago that came up there and bought, I don't know, it was a half a million dollars worth of stuff. And thought to myself, geez, oh man, that guy's crazy for driving the, from New Hampshire through New Jersey and New York and down mm -hmm. all the way down south with that That's kind awesome. of uh, currency mm -hmm. on him. The guy's got some uh, Cayunes. I, ho I hope he had a 357 or something on him. I think they, they took a couple of weeks to travel around, too, on the way back. You know, when I heard from well, him, and the, you that's, know, that's a risky move there, especially in today's age. Anyway, um, I, I wanted to just ask a couple quick questions. Um, I'd like to buy some, um, well, I'd like to ask, I guess, Tim a bunch of questions, but I've been buying some silver. I have it in the last year, and I'm sorry that I didn't, but I've been buying it from a company in California called Lear Capital. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Yeah, one of the more expensive ones. I was buying um, American Eagles, I bought Maple Leafs, I bought Rounds, and I bought two gold pieces, only two gold that I've ever bought were two, I guess they were the dimes, the, the smallest increment of the um, American Eagles. Okay, 10th ounce, yeah. Yeah, the 10th ounce, I, I got two of them, and I actually bought them for my two youngest kids. And um, right now, the, one of the questions is, I don't even know if I could ask you this over the phone, if I should take a ride to New Hampshire, but I mean, I, I want to buy, I don't want the government to see exactly what I'm buying, so I know I can't buy, you know, a huge amount of of anything without them seeing my bank transaction or whatever, but I wanted to buy a couple tubes of American Eagles. Um, do you have them, and can I buy them from you? Silver or gold? Silver. Um, yeah, we always stock American Eagles, either the current year or back dates. His concern about having them know that he's buying his medals and his desire to be able to stand on them. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I, I just heard that they're going to make uh, Kamala the precious metal czar, so none of us have to be concerned. <laughs> okay. She's never going to go there. administration that we have they, they know how much urine you put out let alone what you spend from the bank the silver eagle monster box sweepstakes is back sd bullion is giving away 500 of the 2023 silver eagle coins so whether you're a mom a dad an athlete a fan whatever's happening here or even this guy really Anyone who thinks that 500 Silver Eagles sounds pretty fly has a chance to win and be the next Kevin. Yeah, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. I'm calling to you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of 2022 Silver Eagles. Unbelievable. That is awesome. <laughs> Hi, Sorry, I'd, you know. I'd be a lot more excited if I'm at work, so I can't really scream and holler too much. <laughs> So be like Kevin and click the link below, and the next big winner could be you. Uh, the the way that's um, farthest under the radar is probably a personal check, because they okay. uh, under the Patriot Act, if the um, IRS or the FBI or Homeland Security or Nancy Pelosi wants to know how you're spending your money, uh, they just go to your bank and ask. They have to stop by a judge and get a rubber stamp. But um, they don't bother because it's 
it's not difficult to look at your accounts. On the other hand, um, they're serious about cash. And, um, you know, any amount of cash they want to get their hands on. Um, that's why if you make a $200 deposit in cash, now they, they put you on a page for the IRS. Uh, is, know, it, is it getting more serious? It is getting more serious. With the... And, oh, it's, it, it, it's ridiculous. They are also, you know, all the online dealers have to have all the information available. And, it, you know, we keep everything just because it's not safe to not keep everything. But it's, you know, not if somebody comes in the store and buys a gold coin, we're not going to keep any information. Um, but it's, you know, whatever information we have, we got to hold on to. Uh, they so far they haven't really been bearing down on the stores because uh, somebody is getting the 25 basis points for every deposit every dollar in cash so I'm not sure if that keeps them away or what I don't know if it's a tax I mean it could be a penalty but who knows because under Obamacare uh, it was a penalty that the Congress called a tax I don't know where it goes or what it's all for but you said um, not yet are you not yet. concerned? I'm a little concerned, yeah, because yeah. things are not working out in our favor. And I think they, you know, if they put these 87,000 new IRS agents out there, the only place they can go is small business. You know, the, the only people who have to estimate because they can't spend 200 hours doing their taxes, they're small business. I've been around it about five times, so, I, you know, I'm not concerned. Um, well, but that's I, a scary thought, but I mean, I don't, I've never reported I don't, you as a dealer, I'm sure you have to. But, but uh, Yankee, you, you're just a, a collector, a stacker, as you call yourselves. Oh, he's um, higher on the you, list. You don't, you I'm don't, not higher on the you're, list. You're, am I? you're at the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> do you report your? You don't report what you have in your stockpile, do you? Who, Yankee? Yes. No, yeah. only to Mrs. Yankee. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm well, not sure she knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about do, make, doing 10000 and I, I want to divide that up for sure in a couple different increments because I'm just afraid to spend any more than a couple thousand without, you know, that my bank reporting it to the IRS. And, I mean, this is money I have. It's legally and it's saved up. It's not like it's, a, you know, cash from money laundering scheme or something like that. I mean, this is legitimate money that I, you know, saved over the years in my in, – in, in, that we've saved, so it's just – hard-earned money, but um, I still don't want to draw any red flags. Um, what was your interest? Primarily silver? Well, I, I wanted to buy some I wanted to buy some st small increments of gold because I you were say I watched one of your videos where you thought that uh, you were saying something that the smaller increments are better to, to have um, simply because they're they're easy. You could you could you could cash them out easier in a smaller portion than you can in a one ounce. Well, you still it, 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 feel in gold, that way? It, well in gold, the one ounce is a uh, financially you're getting more gold for the money. Um, but uh, I think we were talking about silver because uh, if you're using silver for barter and that's more every day becoming a barter currency. Um, you want the small pieces of silver, uh, one ounce bars, um, and constitutional, uh, you know, dimes, quarters, and a half dollars. But that's primarily silver where you want the smaller pieces. And, and gold, I think the, the see, gold you can always convert to silver if you need to. But the um, in silver you want to have, um, you know. Let me just ask you a quick question with that. Sure. To convert the gold to silver, how would I do that? Send it back to you and. You send me silver? You, you know, any coin shop, I know that you have um, quite a few excellent coin shops in uh, New Jersey. Um, you need to, yeah, it, just about anybody can make that conversion. Well, not as good as yours, though. Not as good as this, no. <laughs> well, that's kind of what scares me. I, I, I never even went to a coin shop here in New Jersey, nor I, I don't, would, wouldn't. I'd have to go into the shop six times before I could look somebody in the eyes and trust them. Looking at you on your videos and the way you treat people and the honesty that you that you show and, and, and Yankee shows, I mean, you, you're just easy to trust. I've actually been putting this off for a couple of weeks now, but I figured today I'm making the call. <laughs> so I, I'm making the call. What exactly are you more interested in? Uh, did you want the 2023 coins or 
um, back day eagles or, or what exactly? Uh, I guess give me a quote on a tube of the um, silver eagles, American eagles, and two, two um, tenth ounce, I guess, American eagles, too. Okay. If you could say, do you have quarter ounce, Tim? I do, yeah. You might want to consider putting a tiny bit more in there and getting that quarter ounce gold piece. You're going to pay less in premium. Well, I was wanting to buy two more because I have four kids and I already have two of them. So oh, I, was, <laughs> oh, oh. I see. You want to spread the wealth. I get it. Well, I just want to keep them all even someday if I should happen to pass and they all would get one and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my, my, rule, right. of thumb is, my rule of thumb is a quarter ounce minimum uh, just because after that, when it gets smaller, the premiums percentage-wise really spikes up. How it's, easy are they, to, like if you ever had to, how easy are they to get rid of? Very easy. Anything that's an American Eagle or a Maple Leaf is very liquid. So, I mean, like I could walk into any coin shop and yeah, get you, rid of them? Yeah, you probably want to avoid, um, you know, a pawn shop, for example, but any coin shop should be able to give you a reasonable price for those. What do I do with my glasses? I can't, if I don't have my glasses on, I can't find my glasses. I know what that's like. Okay, it was uh, really nice to talk to you and Yankee. It's, uh, it's almost like I'm talking on a video. It just, just feels weird to actually talking to somebody I've been watching for the last six months. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, when you get a chance, just give me a ring back and... Um, and let me know what I got to do. I, I just I put it, I'll put a check in the mail. In fact, I'll put it next day air, and I'll send it to you. And then when you get it and you clears your bank, then um, send me the stuff. All right, very good. Thanks Thank a lot. Take care. All right, guys. God bless you, and I hope to hear from you soon. Yeah. You're selling this? Yeah, I figured he would want that as a paperweight. Oh my word. I Isn't thought for sure you had a couple of those. Yeah, I don't have any 100 ounce. I yeah. think the denomination's a little too big for me. Kilos like are great ones. too. I think yeah. you know. Yeah, kilos are smaller, you know. He owns it You're now. You're interested in that? Could yeah, be. because I almost buy here like three kilo brick, like it was like five years ago. That's like twenty five hundred bucks or something. What do you think? Yeah, nice shape. Nice shape. That keeps the papers from moving. <laughs> you Thank look you. good on TV. You look better in person. Hey. See Thanks you later. a lot. Take See, care. See, Tim, what? What is that? This uh, big one. Oh, that's um, twelve ounces of uh, pure, pure silver. It's um, a medallion, the same design as the American Eagle. It's made by a private company. I could wear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make hold and. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. What is this? That's a Britannia proof set. You gotta look at it. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, you know, I think I have one kilo. It's a poured one. Um, First majestic. Okay. And um, and then uh, some ten ounce and no five ounce. Plenty of one ounce. Plenty of constitutional. Quite a snapshot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quite a snapshot. Yes. Uh, hi. Um, uh, do you collect the uh, old stamps? Uh, we don't, we will, we only have about two customers for stamps and they're both direct mail companies. So they only want modern postage. Um, oh, well, I have some, uh, old stamps I wanted somebody to look at. Well, uh, if you bring them in, we can give you an opinion, but we're, we're not buying stamps. We have, uh, an inventory, a huge inventory of stamps and virtually no customers for them. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. Tim, you need to drop the stamp from the coin <clears throat> stamp shop. It's been buddy. the name of this store for over 60 years. So, and the same phone number for s over 60 years. And um, You're not changing the name, are you? No, I'm not going to change the name. But listen, it makes us sound like a small, you know, out, of the, out in the woods company. And so we, we don't get a lot of... Um, you know, a lot of government people on our back. <laughs>
love it. I this, love this too. This, this is this is gorgeous. Wow. That is. That's. Really I don't nice. buy this now. When I post it, it's gone. You do realize that, right, Tim? It's gone. Yeah. That's I might beat you here. Wait, no. And they're less no. than the equal. Yeah, you're absolutely. Good. Got yeah. it. I won't touch anything. Yeah, I'll do two. I'll do. Do you have like the? Uh, just a roll of quarters and a couple rolls of dimes. Sure. That's beautiful. Yeah. You should buy. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. We watch you guys now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you mind if I? Uh... Down here. All right. No okay. face. I, I can tell. I can tell. Although I do. I do see the bottom. You got a little beard, beard in there. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> you. You're getting your first gold. First gold. Yep. Exciting. Twenty twenty three with him? with uh, Parents. Charles Parents. and twenty twenty yeah. three. You're buying two. <laughs> You're buying two? Yeah. yeah. That's great. Right the whole price list that I have yeah. and to get some silver and not have um, the wow. arms. I, I like that. <clears throat> you like what? Like, what? Like, <laughs> this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now what about the kangaroo? Someone for the Don't touch it though. Oh, it's a it's a plastic coin cap. It's capsule. It's capsule. I just started last month. That's about between me and my daughter, about 350 ounces right now. You started a month ago. Wow! Have it's kind of uh, addicting. Few rolls, it's very addicting. <laughs> looks like when the, the two are on the, on the talking together, it's dangerous. <laughs> oh no! Are, are you on board with this or whatever? Yes. What, whatever. Oh. All right. You need uh, to hold this. What? Do you have more than one? <laughs> um, <laughs> we're a local coin dealer. That's right. Um, SD Billion is one of the sponsors for uh, Yankee Track and uh, Yankee Stacking. Yankee Tracking. Um, okay. okay, I got you. Okay. Well, listen, I just want to let you know I uh, I appreciate the uh, wealth of information, and uh, I'm just like you. I, I'm not a big fan of Biden either. I think this country is going in a bad direction with him and. <laughs> That World Economic Forum. I'm on the same page as you. Just want to let you know. <laughs> well, ever since Klaus Schwab put on that spacesuit or whatever that was he was wearing, I think some of the uh, more intelligent members of the forum are starting to look the other way. I sure hope so. But uh, they're, before they're just, you go, say, destroy all of us. Before you go, say hello to Yankee. He's standing right here. Oh, okay. Hey, Yankee. How you doing? I really enjoy watching the videos. Oh, thank you. I enjoy making. I was watching one here from. Uh, it's uh, how to get the best deal from your silver. I think it was from eleven months ago. Now, how do I catch the more current ones? Well, you need to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon, so you'll be notified when the next video drops. Okay, I will do that. Thank you. It doesn't cost okay. anything to subscribe. It's free. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, I, I really enjoy you guys and. Uh, Keep on doing what you're doing, and, and, and I'm, I'm scared to death of this Federal Reserve note. I think it's just going to crash any time. I don't know when, but uh, I don't trust the dollar much at all. Yeah, the dollar is in, in the serious jeopardy, but uh, we don't want them to disappear. Once they take them away, um, they, it's a, the whole game changes. Find a snapshot. You know, I've been doing this for a while, but I, I've been buying because it's easy from uh, from uh, SC Bullion. You know, they're consistent stuff, but, you know, I've been watching a lot of your guys' videos, and I figure, you know, give it a shot. And before I go, say hello to Yankee. Okay, I will. Hey, Yankee, how are you? Hey, I love the videos, man. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, it's great to have you watching, and and, uh, and and yeah, SD Bullion's fantastic online. I'm glad also that you're calling Tim. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I love his story. I mean, uh, he... He had me. Uh, he, he almost. He had me on the verge of tears when uh, he could, uh, his. Uh, he could talk about his his, uh, his life. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's really wonderful to be able to do business and do something you like and, and know you're doing it with a person of uh, with, with such a good background. Anyway, it's uh, it, it's really nice to uh, to get you you on the line there too, a celebrity. <laughs> no, oh no, <laughs> my uh, pleasure's all mine. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. And you do buy occasionally online as well? Yep. Uh, NSD Bullion SD, is one yeah. of them. Yep. What do you think of their company as They've well? been great. Yeah. No complaints at all. Awesome. And, yeah, I've been happy. The prices are pretty good. Yeah. Going to Snapshot. Yes, is this Tim? Yes, it is. 
Yo, hi, Kim. <clears throat> hey, I'm an adamant follower of your, of your videos. I want to become a customer here. I'm trying to stack, but I have a limited income I can do. But I, I want to get it to where if I need to convert silver, it would be easier to do with generic rounds or something like uh, Britannia's. So, well, coincidentally, um, Yankee's got nothing better to do but walk around with a camera. So why don't you say hello to Yankee while you're here? Is he here? He is. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, how are you? Okay, well, I follow all your videos. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Kim is kind of a, what I want to say, a dinosaur. He's somebody that's left with honor, <laughs> and he's, you know, always willing to tell you what the truth is, and he's somebody that I believe in what he stands for, and that's why I wanted to get some business with him. Well, I'm, I'm, I may be obsolete, but I'm not extinct yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, I'm Central Iowa is pretty conservative and everything here. Uh, we don't have a lot of the stuff that goes on on the East Coast. We're, frankly, I'm glad I live in Iowa. So, so. He's, he's, uh, he's old school, and that's the right school. Yes, you bet. You bet. And uh, like I said, I wanted to become one of his new customers. And I every day I check to see if you have another video coming out. So <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Thank you. Someday everybody else that didn't listen is going to have some problems. Come on up. Come on up. I want to, I want to get your take. Because this is new to you, too, oh, right? It is very new to me. So what do you think of, like, what your son is interested in, these gold maples? Oh, I think they're awesome. Aren't they nice? Mm-hmm. Love yeah. it. And w what do you think of bars? See the difference? Yeah, we've got some bars, but I like those. This is a five ounce poured styled mm -hmm. bar. Nice. It's it's a little, um, little different style than little some of the that bars that you might already have. Right? I actually don't have any poured. Right, so most of it is pressed or extru extruded, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's yeah, nice a different story. style. And Tim knows how to pronounce where that's from. He, he says it right. I don't. So, um, right, Pete? Uh, for me, man. The Bronx, New York. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Is it, I think it's Ita Preciosi. Okay. I don't mind giving you jabs because you have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I feel like I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, we love you too. Do you have any uh, maple leaves? Silver or gold? Silver. I do. Did you get your monster box? Uh, yeah, I'm Here. still waiting for one though. Oh, there we go. Wow, you do have yeah, it's an empty one and one that's uh, four fifths uh, full. Mm -hmm. Two gold maples. You can do that. Mother approved. <laughs> Mother approved. Buy whatever you want. <laughs> he could buy this and give it to me. For right. Oh, oh, oh. You know? Oh, Great idea. Oh, Mother's Day. Oh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's a terrific Day. idea. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's a gold set. Yeah, <laughs> early Mother's Day. He, he just knows what work God. He gets it all anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's like, buy it now. That's why you got to push it. Buy it now. It's yeah. Early Mother's Day. <laughs> Mothers don't <laughs> care for promises. <laughs> Oh, you're getting this one. I might get the one. Yeah. yeah, just throw it on there. I think I have I think it was back in July when yeah. uh, Jerome Powell was in front of the Senate. And oh. Christy took his beating from oh. Elizabeth Warren. And, you know, he just he kind of ignored that. And then um, they went right to the stress test. <laughs> you know, they've been printing all this money in you know April and May and giving it to the banks you know, prior to the stress test. And then they have the results of the stress test, and these banks pass with flying colors. Well, he just got, you know, truckloads of cash, so how could they not pass the stress test? And a stress test is the ability of a bank to survive or run on the bank. Um, and I guess, you know, when the run on the banks comes, and I remember I didn't say if, when the run on the banks comes, People are going to want cash. They're not going to want a bank check for their accounts. 
Yeah. And that's that's the problem. Yeah. Or, or become a shareholder of the bank. That's another option that they can do. The money that you deposit becomes an asset of the bank, and you are in a line of creditors on that deposit. You that's are true. not first. Yeah. But you know, during the the run of the banks in the 1930s, they just closed the doors. That's another option. Right. So, uh, which of those scenarios is the one you're going to pick? They may just close the doors. Maybe. During the pandemic, what did they do? They kept changing the closing time. And, you know, it was supposed to be 5 o'clock today. Well, today it's 2 o'clock. And tomorrow we're not sure, but 2 o'clock the next day went to 3 o'clock. It was, you know, it's... and. It's the way the post office is operating now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't know. Oh, wow. This is, uh, so he wants that because yeah. I because he's interested it. in it. Interested yeah. in it. But I'm sure you he's going to pay half. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Make an excellent yeah. gift. Um, <laughs> Yeah, plus who knows what else. <laughs> check for the whole thing and then just come well, back up. You, then, you know, if you're going to give me a check, you might as well get more stuff. It's, well, that's what I just said. You know. How many? Two? Two? I think so. I'll get my head together and I'll be back up anyway. So. <laughs> Huh? I can stick around and go to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me to go to the post office, then I'll go to the post office. No, it's the package is not quite ready. Hey, thanks a lot, Dinosaur. I appreciate all that you do. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy.